Today, I want to share with you my secret sauce. I have been making educational videos and programming courses for more than six years now. And on those years, as you might have seen, we have talked about the new technologies, blockchain, AI, data structures, algorithms, and in general, concepts that aren't easy to understand. Because of this, I always get questions on how I study all those concepts and how I am then able to explain them. And that is what I want to share with you. My secret sauce, the reason why I have been able to learn everything I want it, the reason why I can explain it easily is the Feynman technique. The Feynman technique is also the reason why studying and learning does not feel like a chore to me. It's just fun. The Feynman technique is named after Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize winner physicist whose nickname was the Great Explainer. Feynman was the absolute champ of explanations. He could explain really complex subjects in an engaging and fun way, using simple language and lots of real-world analogies. His enthusiasm when explaining science was contagious. Uh, oxygen, for instance, in the air would like to be next to carbon, and if they get near each other, they snap together. If you can get it faster by heating it up somehow, somewhere, somehow, they come close enough to the carbon and snap in. And that gives a lot of jiggly motion, which might hit some other atoms, making those go faster so they can climb up and bump against other carbon atoms. And they jiggle and they make mothers jiggle and you get a terrible catastrophe. That catastrophe is a fire. He believed that we don't need any kind of talent to understand hard concepts. You asked me if an ordinary person by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagine. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle people. It just happens they got interested in this thing and they learned all this stuff. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, then he's become a scientist. And he also believed that the best way to know if you have really understood a concept is to explain it to somebody else. Which brings me to the Feynman technique. The Feynman technique is a loop, something you do over and over again until you have complete understanding of what you're trying to learn. And it is divided in four steps. Step one, pick a topic or a concept you want to learn and do some research on it. Watch a video, read the documentation, a couple of chapters of a book, etc. Step two, write down an explanation of that concept, but try to explain that concept to someone younger than you, to a child with a short attention span and a smaller vocabulary. The reason why is because people usually think they understand a concept, but in reality, they just remember the name of things and they use fancy words they don't even understand. As Feynman said, knowing the name of something and knowing something is very different. Step three, identify gaps in your knowledge. After you're done explaining the concept, find the places in your explanation where you relied on fancy words or use overcomplicated language. If a child is not able to understand those words, that means that you didn't make it simple enough. And that might mean that you are just repeating things you read rather than explaining the concepts. Like a curious child that is always asking, why is this hot? Why is this dark? Or why is this red? Challenge your assumptions by asking why. This will expose even more gaps in your knowledge and will make you dig even deeper in understanding. You may know how something works and may be able to explain it, but do you really know why it works or what is making it work? Step four, do more research. After you identify the parts where your knowledge is a bit shaky, the parts where you are relying on complicated terms, the parts that aren't simple enough, or the parts where you can't answer the question why, do even more research to try to answer those why questions. To simplify your explanations, and to replace complicated terms and ideas with easy to understand analogies. Then go back to step two, which is writing the explanation again. But this time fill in the gaps, simplify things, and provide background explanations on the why of things. Then go to step three, 
and four, rinse and repeat until there are no more gaps and you feel like you can explain the concept to a seven-year-old. That's it. That's the Feynman technique. Trust me when I tell you it is incredibly effective and it will help you really understand a concept rather than to just memorize it. Let's put the Feynman technique in action with a concept like blockchain that not many people explain well or understand. Step one, we decide we want to learn about blockchains, so we do some research on it. After a bit of research, we sort of know what it is. So we move to step number two we try to write an explanation for it. The first draft of our explanation might say that a blockchain is a decentralized distributed ledger used to record immutable information. Step number three, let's try to find gaps in our knowledge. Are we using complicated words? Yes, decentralized, distributed, ledger and immutable. Will a child understand them? No. Step number four. We do more research to understand what is decentralized, what is distributed, what is immutable, and what is a ledger. And back to step number two. We try to explain blockchain again, but this time with easier words. Maybe now we say that a blockchain is a shared database that everyone has access to, where information cannot be deleted, only written. That's better. We can repeat steps three and four, and maybe come up with an even easier explanation using analogies that even a child can understand. Maybe we end up with an explanation that says that a blockchain is a group of friends with the notebooks and pens in their hands. These friends are writing down something they care about like their scores on their favorite video game. To make sure no one cheats or makes a mistake, after every game they all write the score in their own personal notebook at the same time and compare notebooks to make sure all information is the same. And because they are using pens and not pencils, after the score is written it cannot be erased. After this explanation, a child might ask, how do all these friends talk to each other? Which will make us go to step number four, where we will have to do research about peer-to-peer -peer communication. To go back to step number two, to explain to the child that the friends are all talking on the phone, and so on and so on. I hope that by now you can see how incredibly helpful this Feynman technique is. Apart from being very effective and useful, it's also really fun. It makes the act of learning into a quest. It also turns learning into a creative exercise, where we have to be creative to come up with analogies and explain things to an imaginary child. Usually learning is always input, 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 and that's why people get bored. With the Feynman technique, it becomes an input and output game. I hope that you use it in your studies and I hope that it helps you as much as it helped me. Before I go, I leave you with two quotes by Mr. Feynman himself. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about. And it doesn't matter. Explore the world. Nearly everything is really interesting if you go into it deeply enough. Study hard what interests you the most, in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to check out the programming courses that I made with explanations that follow the Feynman technique, please click the link below where you can take free courses on JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, and many others all for free. Click the link below and I will see you there. Onjana, kamzahago, saranhamida, see you on the next one. Dao me bye bye.